Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Dynamite. The explosive one. Starting the timer. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Done. Uh, Jonas, you remember when you were a kid? I, I was one once. You remember? <laughs> Can you remember that far back? Uh, maybe. It's tough. Depends what you want to know. It's tough for me sometimes, too. Uh, I just wanted to know if you ever did something so bad where you got kicked out of the house. No. No, man. I never did anything where I get kicked out of the house. No. Uh, did you ever try to run away? I never tried to run away. Wow. I, uh, did you hear this guy? Yeah, this I, uh, one percenter. Let's see. I, uh, I, I, yeah. Like, I... I think I never got grounded like once or twice ever. Once or twice? Yeah, dude. I, I was stayed grounded. I was, I was a good like kid, 13. man. I was a good kid. Like, holy crap! Yeah, I, I like. Yeah, I was pretty. I was. I guess I was a one percenter as far as children dude, went. That's that's absolutely crazy. I definitely got kicked out of the house at one point. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I used to just like play. We lived in an apartment complex, and me and my friends, we would just do all kinds of stuff. Like I remember like throwing rocks at like beehives and stuff, and I got stung in the back of the head. <laughs> and we would like mess around with like the Canadian geese that would come. Uh, Did you feed him Alka Seltzer? No, I didn't feed him Alka Seltzer. I'm not a freaking serial killer, Jonas. I'm just <laughs> a kid. We would just like go and mess with them and uh, like make them hiss at us. We didn't break any of their eggs. That was not us. But uh, and then like uh, we got caught peeing on the side of like a building or like on a tree or something. Okay. And like they threatened to like have us evicted. Because you peed on the building? I, I mean, I, guys pee on stuff all the time. I mean, yeah, and then we were like 11. Okay. So I'm like, you know, that's what 11 year olds <laughs> do. We ride bikes and we pee on stuff. But, yeah. Uh, but uh, like, uh, I don't know. I got kicked out of the house for that one. For the peeing on the building? <laughs> Oh my God! Wow, I find I kind of feel like that's a little overreactive. I feel like I shouldn't be telling this story now, but yeah, it was an overreaction. It probably was at the time. I, mean, I don't remember like you exactly. Like broke like, into your neighbor's house and tried to steal their stuff or something. Like yeah. you peed on a building. Uh, uh, there may have been an exchange of words. I'm not. Oh, gonna... I got you. It escalated. Yeah, yeah let's, let's let's let's. It shoot. started out with a I peed on a building, and the next thing you know, mom's like, "Hey, why'd you do this?" And you're like, "Da da 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 da," and then she's like, "Get out of my house!" And you're like, Oops. "I mean, look, we we can go ahead and shoot my mom some bail if you want to." But look, so I got kicked out of the house, and I eventually made my way back in. I was just wondering if you had ever experienced anything like that. What kind of punishment did you experience while Wait you were? Wait a living? second, like I mean, if somebody's gonna <laughs> kick you out of your house, it's either your mom or your dad. I mean, come on, bro, like, like yeah, throw my mom under the bus, like, <laughs> who's well, gonna kick you out? Your uncle? <laughs> Uh, hey, look, I'm just shooting her some bail. Yeah. Did you have any type of punishment whatsoever? Did you get grounded? Did you get spanked? Did you get punched? No. Uh, sometimes Let my mom out. would... Uh, this is a safe place. Like, did my mom slap me? Because <laughs> I was mouthing off, maybe. I think I've been like... I've definitely been like... Slap, but it was, it's like one like, yo, you went too far, like kind of like things. I think you've told me. It wasn't like I got beat. It was like one, and my mom would also, <laughs> my mom would also, if I was being, if we were out somewhere and I was being an a hole, yeah, she would come up behind me and she would like put her hand on my shoulder, but like grab the hair at the base of my neck mm -hmm. and just enough to put a little tug on it, and I was like, if I don't stop, I'm she used be. to give you the the mom hand, the, yeah. the grip. The Which, cobra no, clutch. She, she would be. It would be suave as hell. It would be. It would be. She'd pull on the hair at the base of my neck and be like, "Yo, oh, okay, like, like enough to be like a little pinch. You better stop that. What the hell you're okay. doing? Or I'm gonna cause a mother effing right. scene, and then you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. I do remember getting grounded off the phone one time. Oh my, just one once. time. Well, here's what would happen. My mom would threaten all sorts of stuff, and then like. And then I, she just would forget or whatever. And the, but there was one time she actually, I don't even remember what I did. What? And I was still, and I would still like sneak on the phone at night anyway. Yeah, dude, I didn't get in trouble. I didn't get in oh trouble because I didn't God. do things that deserved getting in trouble for. Like I, I was never grounded. I was all like, yeah, I, I was a good kid, dude. I'm not going to lie. A lot of mine was like for grades or like mm. not, not cleaning up my room. Oh, see, I always did this. I always got good grades and I always did what I was supposed to. <laughs> I didn't start getting good grades until like like high school, but uh, when I was younger, yeah, getting grades, I I didn't understand school. I was like, this is this is nuts. You yeah. want me to keep coming here? I was a little a hole come? overachiever, dude. I wanted to be the best. I wanted to get all A's and be the best ever. But yeah, I definitely got grounded off of TV. 
and my video games all the time. All oh, that sucks, dude. The time. <clears throat> but you know, honestly, all the time. I I honestly I think I was a goody two shoes. <laughs> look, look, looking back, I, I think I, I was I was more. a goody two shoes overachiever. Okay, until about third grade. And I remember there was a, That's a short period. I well, no, 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 no. But then, that. then I still did it. But I, but I also realized that I didn't have to be such a suck up overachiever like kid to still be good and be. And there was a kid okay, in my class, and, and, and you know, I've never really thought about this till recently. And that there was a kid that I had that was in my class, and he was kind of like the jokester kid in class. Yeah. Um, but he would like do stuff and like everything like that. Like, you know, he would like, he, you know, like a lot of the times in elementary school, the door would be wood, but there'd be like a, a window in it, you know, like, so you could see out into the hallway a little bit and he would like go to the bathroom and he'd come and like peek his head in and stuff like, and kids would chuckle and like, you know, and he would like, he wouldn't be disruptive. So he would get in trouble sometimes. But then for some reason that it finally clicked to me, like, yo, I don't have to be like the perfect kid student to still be a good student. And then, like, it, it almost, like, let me loosen up a little bit as and, like, be, yeah, you, be jokey and, like. But you never did get in trouble. Not no. that I can remember. And we went to the same school briefly. Yeah. Oh, no, man. Everybody. Well, here's the thing, dude. I had such an easy time because all the teachers loved me. I, got, I pretty much could do whatever the F I wanted. My senior year, dude, the, the principal would just, like, let us go to school half a day and then leave. Like, I didn't even, I only needed half a credit. I took the three classes I had to take, and then I just got out of school early and went to go work. See, and I used to troll all the teachers. <laughs> See, and that's, and that's why <laughs> our experience was different. I couldn't help myself, man. Yeah. Well, here's an example of how, how much teachers. my teacher love, teachers love me. My senior year, they, I only went to school half a day. That was already cool enough. Yeah. I would just, I skipped the first Friday of all the first nine weeks of school, but still went to work. Two of my four teachers would come through the drive through at Wendy's almost every day, and I wouldn't be in school, and they would see me at work, and I never got in trouble. Like, I would, they would be like, I'd be like, hey, we got some homework? And they're like, yeah. I'd be like, okay, cool. I'll talk to so-and-so and get the assignment. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's, it'd be going out of their way to report you. Like, they'd have to not like you to Well, to right, but you. if you're a troll and you give them shit all the time, well, they, then, wouldn't, they wouldn't have reported well, you. Well, not you, but, like, but there's kids that were bad enough that yes. they would have definitely told yes. on. Yes. They're like, oh, I can get Timmy. I'm going to turn his ass in. <laughs> or at least held it over their head. Right, exactly. Blackmail yeah. him. Extort them. Ah, is that extortion? That's extortion. Is that extortion? <laughs> you gonna extort like a 16-year-old over here? If you don't do your homework, I'm going to tell the principal that you... And then you're going to get expelled. And remember being expelled used to be like the worst thing ever. Like, oh, I heard he got expelled from yeah, his class Yeah, it's because when you're a teenager and you're stupid. And you don't realize how un how insignificant your life is before you turn 18. Is, yeah. Expelled means nothing. Suspended, expelled, detention, none, none of that stuff none matters. Of it, none of it matters. Well, it's just like when you're in, in high school and you're like, oh my God, my girlfriend broke up to me. My life is over. What if the whole school thinks I'm stupid? <laughs> Who cares, bro? How many people you still talk to from high school? None of them. A handful at yeah, most. Right. Did you ever get detention? Oh, uh, once. One? This dude is a... Fr I don't understand you. And it was from... Like, a, this is really eye-opening. Right <laughs> this now. is a substitute teacher. Once. And me and my buddy got one because we wouldn't stop talking in class. And he got mad and we were still talking. He was like, detention, you two. And then he let us go early because he felt bad. Dude, I had a freaking in-school suspension. That was the worst <laughs> I've ever had. I've never been suspended out of school. Oh, never been suspended out of school, but I did have an in-school suspension. That sucks. Because not you have to come to school, and then you just don't get to hang out and talk with your friends. You got to sit in a room by yourself with it, a teacher. It was like an all-day study hall. And this was... I don't want to date myself, but this was in a land that... Maybe you know cell phones weren't as smartphones sophisticated. weren't around. We'll just say they that. weren't as sophisticated as they are today. That's what I would yeah. say. Yeah, so. dude. I don't know, man. I was a good kid. Eye opening, <laughs> dude. Y I, yin and yang, as we say about <laughs> lots of other things. I, I like. I wasn't a bad, but I wasn't nowhere near the best, nor did I intend to be. I just kept to myself and didn't like. I kept to myself, <laughs> and I didn't really mess with teachers. I just did what I was supposed to do. No, there was there were certain ones, man. My Spanish teacher got it. Oh, she hated everybody. <laughs> I saw. Her, I saw. You knew who I was talking about. She loved. She loved me and my be and my best friend at the time. I saw her pull a kid in his desk yeah. out to the into the hallway, and my, she grabbed the desk and just pulled his ass into the hallway. Yo, it was a different time. And she was a tiny woman too. 
She was so mad, dude. Oh, my. People mess. <laughs> but here's the thing. People mess with her so hard because of that. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I knew exactly who you were talking about. She was a delicate flower. Oh, but she was. <laughs> she, we actually asked her to tell us how to say dirty things in Spanish. She, and she, she wrote us a list. Yeah, yeah it was nice. She, she was nice. You. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.